Hello friends, Tolly here, welcome. Uh, in this video, because we start with uh, 2025, I'm going to show you my applications I have in my machine to develop Laravel projects. And I'm going to start with uh, Heart. If you go to heart.laravel.com, you can download for macOS or so. If you have Windows, you can go and download that for Windows, which is one-click development environment, zero dependencies, and after you installed the uh, this, you have nginx, DNS, uh, PHP. Now, if you want, if you want to pay, because this is a free version, but also the paid version. For paid version, you have also MySQL and so on. You can install any uh, PHP version you want. So let me. I have installed here, and if I open the settings, yeah. Here we have a general. Here we have a herd paths, and you can add here the paths you want. So by default, when we install the Laravel herd, this is going to create a herd directory in our uh, system. And if you create a project in that system, it's going to look and open that in the browser with the .test domain. But if you don't prefer to have a herd and you have a different directories you can add here we have a plus icon and choose your uh, directory for example i have created a sites directory and just add it here okay then we have a php version php here you can install versions i have installed only the php 8.4 but you can install and then when you install that version for example and you want to uh, work with that version you can go here and say use php for example 8.3 okay let me just go back here then we have also a node tab here you can install the node directly from here so you don't need to install in your machine and then we have expose if you have worked with uh, expose so the to share your project then we have for pro version you have services like redis mysql and so on mail dumps and debugger yeah you, here you need to go and activate the pro we have also some shortcuts and so on that's it for the laravel herd next thing is to have uh, an id because we want to work with uh, laravel so the first one is the php storm which i think is more popular and is very good but is paid so you need to pay for php storm we have three versions which we are going to start with the vs code your code editor and here we have redefined with ai with VS Code, you have a copilot free version and uh, is very popular. Then we have some new ones now. We have a cursor, the AI code editor, which is a VS Code wrapper but has this AI, the AI to help us be more efficient. The same thing is Windsurf, the first agentic IDE and then some so the windsurf editor is where the work of developers and ai truly flow together and the new one is this from a trial from the tiktok i think ship faster with try and this is an adaptive ai id that transforms how you work collaborating with your terrain faster okay then if you don't have a pro version of Laravel Heart. I have chosen here the DB Engine, all-in-one database version management tool. You can download here for Mac, also for Windows. Then I have a Table Plus, which works together with DB Engine, which is a database management made easy for MySQL, Postgres, and SQLite and more. And the last application I have for uh, Laravel uh, development is this new Tweak PHP, which is open source and I really like this application. Is the Tweak your PHP code? And here we have an example and let me just open this. 
because I just installed and uh, also let me open the costi because we need to add here the PHP path and let's say which PHP here and I'm going to copy let me just zoom it for you okay so just say which PHP in your terminal and copy the path and then let's open the tweak PHP which also this one I'm going to zoom it like this and then let's open settings and yeah you can choose a theme also font size vim mode if you want if you can say enabled uh, here now on the php path just paste that php path and click outside and it's going to save changes here now add new project and i'm going to open a directory which i'm going to open inside sites i have a new fresh laravel project which is this bloke i'm going to open that and yeah here we have and here for example let's say uh, collect and pass in an array which uh, not value but i'm going to say name and tweak php and also i'm going to add a link which is going to point the let's say tweak php.dev or .com let me just see yeah, .com okay and now you can go here to run or just use the command r and we have a collection we have all here then we can say dollar sign tweak php to be this one down there i'm going to say dollar sign tweak php and grab the name for example command r and now we have tweak php if i change that laravel command r we have laravel and you can play with uh, php also here we have if you use docker or ssh or kubernetes and that's it all about this video the applications i have in my machine to work with laravel projects if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best